Hi everyone. Today our lesson is science of Olympiad preparation for class seven. Our lesson is light, and our unit is spherical mirrors. We already learned about plane mirrors. Here we learn about spherical mirrors. Spherical mirrors are a part of a holosphere. Understand? What are the spherical mirrors? The spherical mirrors are a part of a holosphere. There are two types of spherical mirrors. One is concave mirror like this. This is concave mirror. One is concave mirror. That means the reflecting surface is inside. And another is convex mirror. The reflecting surface is outside. Okay? To understand the spherical mirrors in our daily life, we use different things. Suppose to eat something, we use spoon. To understand spherical mirror, we can use a spoon. This is spoon. And it is the inner part of the spoon and it is the outer part, part of the spoon. <coughs> the inner part, this is inner part. The inner part acts like a concave mirror. In this part, what happens? In this part, the reflecting surface is used and this part is convex part. In case of convex mirrors, the outer part is what? Reflecting part and inner is silvering. Understand? The mirrors which are the part of holospheres. Understand? The mirrors are the part of holosphere. In that holosphere, we get a center. And that center is known as the center of curvature of the spherical mirror. Okay? And this is known as center of curvature. You have seen this picture? Students, understand this. The radius of the sphere is what? The radius of the sphere is known as radius of curvature. Okay? Yeah, uh, yeah, the sphere has a radius. Okay. Suppose you can say PC or any point drawn from here, from here, etc. You can draw infinite number of radii. So, radius of the sphere is known as radius of curvature. The mirror has a midpoint. The midpoint is known as pole of the mirror. Okay? <clears throat> now, what is F? F is the focus. And it is the midpoint of the radius of curvature. Understand? Now, what the line segment is called? The center of curvature and the pole joining. This line segment is known as principal axis. Okay. And the distance between focus and pole is known as focal length. And it is represented by small f. And radius of curvature is represented by small r. So from here, you can say that, what you can say? r is equal to, r means pc. pc is equal to cf plus pf. So r is equal to twice f. You understand this? And from here, we, we can say F is equal to R by 2. 
ओके एंड व्हाट हैपेंस व्हेन लाइट फॉल्स ऑन द मिरर व्हेन ए बीम ऑफ पैरेलल लाइज रेस व्हेन ए बीम ऑफ पैरेलल रेस फॉल ऑन द मिरर इन केस ऑफ मिरर व्हाट हैपेंस रिफ्लेक्शन हैपेंस इट पासेस थ्रू द प्रिंसिपल फोकस और फोकस दिस लाइन इट इज इंसिडेंट रे इट इज पेरेल टू प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस आफ्टर रिफ्लेक्शन इट गोज थ्रू द फोकस अंडरस्टैंड दिस सपोज अगेन उइ ड्र हियर वन रे आफ्टर रिफ्लेक्शन इट ऑल्सो गोज थ्रू द फोकस दैट मीन्स द पॉइंट एक्चुअली मिट एट एप सो इट इज ए रियल इमेज ओके नाउ इन केस ऑफ कॉन्वेक्स मिरर हेयर सिल वारिंग इज इन साइड एंड इट इज द रिफ्लेक्टिंग सरफेस वैन ए बीम ऑफ पेरेल रेज फॉल्स ऑन द रिफ्लेक्टिंग सरफेस व्हाट एपेंस इट कम्स फ्रॉम सी एपियर्स फ्रॉम द फोकस दैट मीन्स इफ वी external rays on the back side of the mirror they meet at focus so here what image is formed partial image do you understand clearly what image is formed partial image is formed see here this is concave mirror concave mirror is called converging mirror बिकज हेन रेज और यू कैन से हेन ए बीम अफ रेज फल्स ऑन द मिर आफ्रा रिफ्लेक्शन दे मीन्स एट ए पॉइंट दैट मीन्स दे कनभार्जेस द रिफ्लेक्टिंग रेज कनभार्जेस टू ए पॉइंट सो कनके मिरर्स आर नो कनके मिरर इज नोन एज कनभार्जिंग मिरर And in case of convex mirror, what happens? The rays actually not meet at F. They comes from F, so it diverges from F. That means convex mirror is known as diverging mirrors. Now, what are the uses of spherical mirrors? Where we use spherical mirrors in our daily life? we use different purposes concave mirrors are used as saving mirrors because a large image of face is formed in the concave mirror so it is profit for saving it is also used by dentist to see the larger image of teeth of patient it is used as reflectors in towards headlights of vehicles okay this is the uses of concave mirror and what are the uses of convex mirror the uses of convex mirrors are these are used to see uh, rear view mirrors because big concave may have to <clears throat> because a large area of objects are from smaller than its size in case of convex mirror do you understand this clearly if you understand the lesson clearly then we next day we learn the lenses next day we learn about lens before learn, uh, learning the lens about learning the lens we must read about refraction of light bye bye